Hello, this is Stacy Black for Open Campus for Math 099 Algebra 2. This is Module 1B. We are still working on definitions of polynomials that we will need to know throughout the semester. Our next definition we need to talk about is the definition descending order. So if we go to our notes, if you look up here, I have some polynomials. They are written, but they are not in the correct order. And it's very important in math that you write everything in the correct order. Just like in an English class, you must start a sentence with a capital letter and end it with a punctuation mark. In algebra, if it's not written in the correct order, then it is incorrect. So let's look at example on the board. I have this trinomial. Why is it a trinomial? It has three terms, three monomials. 6y plus y to the fourth minus 7. This trinomial is not in the correct order. In algebra, everything has to be written in descending order, which means the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So we have to look at each of our terms, look for their exponents, and then order them. Well, it's obvious this exponent's 4. If we look at this term, we do not see the exponent. It's understood to be a 1. And if we look at this term, which we call the constant, we talked about this the other day, every constant does have a variable. It's just not there. So we would say this is y to the 0. There were no y's. So now to arrange this in descending order, we look for the highest exponent. I have positive y to the fourth. Well, if you're going in descending order, after a y to the fourth would come a y cubed. Well, if you all look, I do not have any y cubes. And we'd write that as 0 y cubed. After a y cubed would come a y squared with an exponent of the 2. Again, we do not have any of those. So that would be 0 y squared. After y squared, we come y to the first. We have that. If you look in front of the 6, there's no sign, so it's understood to be a positive. 6, y to the first. And then the last thing that should always be written is the constant. The constant will never have a variable. That's why the exponent is 0. So we would just write the constant negative 7. Now, if we look at this polynomial, it's not finished. we got to fix it up a little bit. First of all, we go back to arithmetic. When you say 0y cubed, you're saying there's nothing there. So if you go back to arithmetic and I had the number 2 and I added 0 to it, would it change? No, it would stay 2. So the same is true in algebra. There's nothing here, so there's no need to write that. So we would just write the y to the fourth. We would not have to write the zeros because there's none of those terms there. We'd have to write the positive 6y to the first, and we'd have to write the constant negative 7. But we can still fix that up some more. If the leading monomial term is positive, we don't need to write the plus. It's understood that's positive. The second thing we never write in algebra is an exponent of the 1. That's always understood. If you have a variable and you do not see the exponent, it's a 1. So this trinomial in the correct descending order would be written y to the 4th plus 6y minus 7. Okay, let's go on to our next definition. Our next definition is called collect like terms. Collect means to put together. Just like you have a collection of stamps or baseball cards at the house. You only can add things that are alike. And you can only do the opposite, which is subtract things that are alike. So we're going to look at example 3 in the notes now. So, on example 3 in the notes, we have a polynomial. Remember, poly means many pieces. We have negative 3y to the 4th plus 2 minus y minus 4 plus 7y plus 3y to the 4th. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 monomials. So anything more than 4 or more is called a polynomial. We want to put together the terms that are alike. When you talk about like terms in algebra, you're talking about having the identical, the same variables. So if you look, negative 3y to the 4th and positive 3y to the 4th are identical. 
they have the same variables. This Y may stand for yo-yos, and that Y would stand for the same word, yo-yos. So if I have negative 3Y to the 4th plus 3Y to the 4th from arithmetic, we know negative 3 plus positive 3 would make 0Y to the 4th. We'll look again. Our next set of like terms would be this negative Y and this positive 7Y. And if you look, there is an invisible number coefficient in front. It's understood to be that one. So we have negative 1Y and positive 7Y. If that sign's negative and that sign's positive, you can't add. So in your head, you subtract. So 7 take away 1 is 6. And because 7 is the larger number, the answer is positive. So that would give us a positive 6Y. But we're not done. We still have some more like terms. We have now the constants, positive 2 and negative 4. Again, one's positive, one's negative. So if they're opposite signs, you subtract and give the answer the sign the larger. So 2, if you take it from 4, would be 2. But because that's the bigger, the answer would be negative 2. Just like we talked about it the other day, we don't write 0, y to the 4th, because that means there's none of them there. And if there's none of them there, that's gone. We don't need to write the positive in front of the 6y, because if it's leading and it's positive, it's understood. So when we collect like terms, our final answer would be 6y minus 2. And that is in descending order, because the variable should always come before the constant. Okay, we have one more definition. Our last definition is evaluating. Evaluate means two things always. It means to substitute and calculate. So in my class we sing, it's easy to evaluate, just substitute and calculate. So let's work our last example on the board. Let's look at B. So I'm giving you a trinomial this time. What does tri mean again? It means three parts. So I'm giving you 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. And if you look at B, it says find the value if x equals negative 1. When I ask you to evaluate, the first thing is to substitute. Substitute means replace. Like a substitute re teacher replaces the real teacher. You're going to replace every letter x you see with the number negative 1. So you're technically going to rewrite this. You can't do it in your head. You have to do it on paper so you don't make a mistake. So we copy down the 5. We're going to replace this x with negative 1. Because the 5 and the x are side by side, it's connected by multiplication. So to that know that these numbers are connected by multiplication, we put in the parentheses. We copy the square, the exponent. We copy the negative 2. Up oh, there's another x. So we're going to replace it with our negative 1. But again, because these numbers are side by side, to show they're connected by multiplication, we put a parentheses. Plus 1. So that's the first set, substitute. Rewrite the expression without the variable. Now it's to calculate. That means to work this out following order of operations. You may have heard the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P means to do whatever's inside parentheses. Well, there's nothing to do inside there. There's already just one number. There's nothing to do inside there. There's already one number. So we're not doing P, parentheses. E means to work an exponent. Well, we have an exponent. That exponent belongs to the negative 1. So we're going to work that first. So that means we copy everything else. We leave the 5. We're going to work this out. What is negative 1 squared? It means negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. And we copy everything else. All right, so we did P and E. M means to multiply. Well, if you look up at your expression, you have two multiplications. This is multiplication, and this is multiplication. So you do an order from left to right. So 5 times 1 is 5. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. And then you bring down your plus 1. What's left is adding. And we do that in order from left to right. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. So anytime in algebra you're asked to evaluate, your goal is to get your algebra expression down to a number. That concludes our lessons for Module 1. Thank you.